<laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's just me. Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is so crazy that I'm finally actually doing this, um, but I am so excited. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while now, but I've always made the excuse that I didn't have time or that nothing in my life was that interesting. So I just always made excuses, but I finally am gonna have a lot of time on my hands, well, before baby gets here. So I'm gonna do my best to document as much as possible. I guess one of the main motivating factors too to really start this was I did want to document my pregnancy. And if you didn't know or couldn't tell, I am definitely pregnant. Um, I am so excited. My husband Val and I are so excited. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to document this whole thing and have footage that I could look back on, but also I wanted to be able to share it with a lot of you. Um, and I felt like this was the best space to do that. So yeah. For my first video, I wanted to share how I found out I was pregnant and then also how we told a lot of our family and friends that we were pregnant. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory though, just so you can have some context. Um, if you follow me on social media, then you know that we did struggle with infertility for about two years. I'm not going to get into my infertility journey right now because it's really long and kind of sad and I just want to keep this one really positive. Um, but I will go in in depth about what we did, what happened, um, and certain steps that we took and everything um, for those of you that are struggling with infertility because man, it is brutal. It's emotionally draining, it's physically, mentally, it, it just takes over um, and really makes you question a lot of things about yourself. So I will do a separate video coming soon. So we did struggle with infertility for about two years and once we kind of started hitting two years and nothing was really happening, um, we decided, Val and I decided to, you know, let's take a break from trying. Let's just enjoy each other, let's travel, let's focus on work. So Val and I went on this trip to Cabo. He surprised me for my birthday. Um, I had no idea about it, but he took me to one of our favorite resorts in Cabo and we just had the absolute best time. And while we were there, we kind of had a discussion and Val was like, you know, I really want to start trying again. And obviously I did too, but in my mind I was like, am I ready to go down that path again and to possibly be confronted with a lot of no's and negativity and just a lot. So, you know, we were just like, let's just enjoy our trip. We did have a lot of fun that trip. Um, then we came back home. So I'm gonna mention this next part because I think it's really important for the videos that you're about to see, specifically of my sisters um, and of my parents, really. And so we got home from this trip and about a week later, I had to go to Utah for some work stuff, um, but also just wanted to see my family as well. And while I was there, I had one of the worst mental breakdowns. I don't know what had happened. Well, now I know because I was pregnant at the time and didn't know, but I just, I was emotionally spent. I was with my sisters and I remember specifically this one day, I just could not stop sobbing. And I was just overwhelmed by the fact that I was the only kid in my family that didn't have kids yet. I didn't see any hope. I was just so, so sad. And I was like hyperventilating, convulsing, sobbing, hysterical. So all of my family had to deal with that. Um, and it was just really hard. And I do wanna add though, through this whole journey of us trying to get pregnant and trying to conceive and our infer infertility and everything, 
our families have been our backbone so i'm so grateful for them and even our closest friends they've been there for us and all of it so i'm so appreciative of that but yes this was a terrible mental breakdown and my poor sisters and my mom were just trying to console me but you know there's there's not a lot you can say um and there's yeah it's just hard to hear anything that's going to make you feel better so i had one of my worst breakdowns while i was in utah and then i came back home cut to a week later i'm in la and i woke up that morning and i just wasn't feeling great i was kind of feeling like gross a little bit icky um, and I knew that I was supposed to start my period coming up here soon, but my periods are super irregular. So trying to track anything was really hard, but I knew it was coming up. And so I just thought, you know, oh, I'm probably going to start my period today or something. But the thing that kind of gave it away were my boobs were super swollen and hurting really bad. And when I am on my period, my boobs don't feel a thing. They don't even change. I have like negative A cup size boobs. And yeah, so I woke up and I was like, this is weird. I feel pretty icky and my boobs are like a little bit swollen and sore. Um, but I didn't also want to like create scenarios in my head that weren't true or think too much of something. So anyway, Val had to go off. He had like a whole day of a workout and then some errands. And so I was like, okay, he leaves. I had like one janky pregnancy test at home um, and I just decided to pee on it and see what was going to happen and literally immediately it comes back positive and I am shocked. I can't believe it. You'll see in the video, but I'm just like, wait, what's happening? So I drive to the nearest store i get like 10 tests because i didn't i just you know i didn't know if it was false positive or what was going to happen so i got all of these tests i came back home i peed on like 10 of them and all of them said pregnant or positive and i couldn't believe it i oh man it was just the best feeling in the world and so many emotions, you know, um, but I also just couldn't believe it because it had taken us so long and it was such a grueling process for us that literally the first time we tried after taking a break, I got pregnant. So insane. Here's the clip of that. <laughs> I got these positives and they said specifically pregnant the first thing I did actually <laughs> was call my sisters I FaceTime both of them and I'm just freaking out um, and I cannot wait to show you their reaction because it's my favorite it is hysterical just wait until you see <laughs> their faces but I call them they are shocked because I literally had just had this huge meltdown where they had to pick me up off the floor. Um, but they also were, you know, a little bit skeptical, like, are you sure? You know, you don't want to get your hopes up. And so they suggested that I go to the doctor and do a blood test. So I zoomed to the doctor. I did a blood test, came back positive. Um, and then I was like, okay, I need to tell Val somehow. Oh, Valentine. He's wandering off all day. He's just like taking his time, running errands, all of this stuff. And this is now 5 p.m. 
Granted, I found out at like 9 a.m. that I was pregnant. So it's like 5 p.m. and he calls me and he's like, hey babe, I'm on my way home, but I think I'm gonna play basketball. And I was like, well, why don't you just come upstairs um, and say hi to the dogs? That was the only thing I could think of. So he was like, okay, I'll do that. So he comes home. Now this is how you'll see this video, but I wanna give you a little backstory. <laughs> He has no idea what's about to hit him. Um, but I wanted to tell him in a way that he wasn't gonna expect it. Like I really wanted him to be shocked. And so I had gotten, earlier in the day, I went to a store and I got these little like white Air Force Ones. And then I put like four pregnancy tests <laughs> in this box, but I put it in a Nike box that was in his size. Um, and I wanted to do this so it didn't look so suspicious or anything. Um, so I had this box ready and I put it in our kitchen and I was just, I, I didn't even know how I was gonna display it or give it to him or what was gonna happen. And then all of a sudden the door opened. So I'm just like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And it's sitting in this chair, you'll see. But the box is like sitting behind this chair. So Val comes in the door and he's carrying Nike bags of all things. And I'm like, did you go to the Nike store today? He's like, yeah, I got some new shoes. Um, I got some new sweatshirts. And I'm like, that's funny. I, I got a new pair of shoes too today. Anyway, so he's taking his time. He's talking to the dogs. He starts to walk over to the kitchen and he sees this box that's sitting on the chair, flings open the box like doesn't even i don't know she's so like nonchalant didn't even ask if he could open it just flings open the box and this is what happens next what? oh shit <laughs> oh my god are you serious oh, <laughs> You can kind of tell he's a little shocked, um, but that was one of the best nights of my life. Um, after I think it sank in and hit both of us that, OMG, this is happening, we're pregnant. It was, it was just the best. We couldn't stop talking about it. We couldn't stop thinking about it. It was just, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Val's video. Um, now I'm gonna play some of our friends' videos and our families when we told them their reactions. Um, but I do wanna preface this. I think people are gonna be a little confused or maybe ask like, oh, why didn't you tell them? Why didn't you tell them? In general, Val and I think his whole culture is very superstitious. And so, you know, there's just like this weird feeling that we don't wanna jinx ourselves or get our hopes up. But I think too, we wanted to keep it really private because it had been such a struggle for us to get pregnant and there are so many things that can still go wrong in, there's, in those first few months of pregnancy. So we just wanted to keep it really, really private, really safe with us um, until we knew that we were in the clear. So yeah, just in case anyone was wondering. But these reactions are my whole heart. I watch these over and over again just because they bring me so much joy. So here you go.
Well, there you have it. Now the world knows that we are pregnant. I'm so, so excited for this whole journey. Um, I've looked forward to being a mom my whole life. It's something that I always knew that I wanted to do or be. Um, it's getting real that it's happening and I'm like actually prego right now but i'm just so excited i cannot wait to share this journey with all of you so yeah stay tuned for my next video <laughs> bye ziggy say bye they're chomping on their bones all right stay tuned see ya